Jessica from the Bill Curves Wellness Center and I have your dumbbell wad today. It's a full body workout and it's also part of the squat tober challenge. So well it does say squat is full body, but we're gonna do some squats. So follow along with me. All you need for this workout is a pair of dumbbells and or a kettlebell. If you don't have a kettlebell, that's fine. I'll be showing you how to do a swing with a dumbbell anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. We're about halfway through. This is workout number 12 for Spottober. If you're not a part of that yet, you should definitely look it up. It's on our website. Our first one, our first superset, so two exercises that we have is a dumbbell thruster. So hands up at shoulder height, feet shoulder width apart, toes out about 30 degrees. We're gonna squat down all the way and then using the power from our squat, press our arms up overhead. 15 of these. And then we're going into a kettlebell or dumbbell swing. Something to keep in mind here is that a swing is a hip hinge. So we hip hinge over, my back is flat, and then come up. So even a part of your workout could be just practicing this hip hinge motion. That's different from a squat where we push. Chest is up, I push the floor away. Deadlifts are a hinge, chest is down, lift by pulling the weight up. So kettlebell swing, we use some momentum and we hinge. I'm holding it by the end of the dumbbell and swinging, chest height. I'm not coming all the way up. Chest height, hip hinging. You're gonna do 15 of those and then repeat with the thrusters. That's four sets total or four rounds of those two exercises. After that, we're moving on to a single leg deadlift. Single leg deadlift, we have four sets of Again, hip hinge. My chest is coming down and I'm bending at my waist. So single leg, I'll show you two different variations. We're gonna come down, notice how the dumbbells are really close to my shins and I'm also lifting my back leg up like a kickback. Pause for a second at the bottom, then come back up, slow and in control. Again, hip hinge, bring my leg back, lift high, squeeze my glutes, come back up. If you're wobbling out of control, you don't want to do that because you're not really using your hamstrings and your glutes as much and you can be susceptible to injury. So for there, you want to do a staggered stance. So I'm really light on my back toe here, barely there. Slight bend in my front leg and again, hip hinge. The key here with this one is really keeping the weight tight to your shin. If it's really far away, that's when we start to have a curve in our back. So we wanna keep it nice and tight and close. Four sets of that, eight on each side, pausing at the bottom. Third set, we're working on some upper body. So we have a dumbbell curl, palms face forward, my arms are straight. Bring it up to my shoulders and back down. When I come down, I'm squeezing my triceps just like I'm doing tricep kickback all the way down and lifting by curling up. 20 total reps of that, and then we're going into a bent and row. My hands are facing in towards my thighs, hip hinge position, row up, lead with your elbows. Let your elbows come up, squeeze your shoulder blades back together. Again, keeping the weight close to my body, keeping my back nice and flat, my core really tight, lead with the elbows. We have 20 total reps of that, and then dumbbell shrugs. So I'm nice and relaxed here. I'm bringing my elbow, my shoulders up to my ears, dropping back down. 20 shrugs. That's a tricep, three exercises, three rounds, 20 reps each exercise. Our next one, we have a bent over lateral raise for a rear delt fly. So in a hip hinge position is our move of the day. So bent over here, and again, you're gonna to wanna to have some light weights for this. So what you're doing for dumbbell thruster, you're gonna to wanna to take it down. So I'm bent over here, and I'm pulling my arm up, out to the side, and I'll show you forward. So I'm gonna show you like that. 
Again, you want to stay bent over, looking down at the ground. You have 15 of those, three rounds. Final exercise, we have a dumbbell wood chop. I'm going to show you two different ways, kneeling and standing. Standing, you have one dumbbell, holding it by the ends. I'm squatting down. Here, the dumbbell is on the outside of my knee, and I'm twisting, and I'm looking down towards the dumbbell. I press up, rotate up my back foot, just like I want to throw the dumbbell back over. And I'm coming down, twisting up. If you're in a kneeling position, you have the dumbbell down here. Again, you're looking. Exhale, twist, throw it over your shoulder. Make sure that your gaze follows and that you're focusing on exhaling up and twisting at your tummy. You have three sets of 10 of those and that's your full workout. So just a reminder, this was created for BCWC members and for Molson Corps employees. Thanks everyone.